Hello there and welcome to Travels with Jordy. If this is your first visit, my name is Peter Knowles and I live on this classic wooden motor cruiser here in Victoria, British Columbia, along with the loving memory of my pup Jordy, all the while fixing it up, as I'm doing now, for some pretty major cruising someday. <laughs> It's getting sooner, really, I promise. Anyway, if that's something that you might find interesting, please consider sticking around and subscribing. I'd love to have you. All right, today's just an awesome day, at least for me, because I got the last two frames steamed in and done. I'm done steaming oak frames, which is great. Uh, moved on, did a lot of work on uh, butt blocks and uh, restoring the through hulls. Uh, starting to do a lot more refastening, um, so I'm kind of jumping around. Uh, we'll have a look at the uh, the list later in the episode and see where I am with my post-its. And good morning, folks. Uh, honestly, I'm feeling pretty good about today, even though I broke that frame yesterday. I went through and checked. Oh, yeah, the frames got all paranoid. Not a smidge of a crack. And besides, they all went down fine. This one had a little imperfection right at it, but it just shows you you really have to grade your wood very well. Um, which I knew before. Anyway, so I'm still really excited about today because I can easily steam in those two in and around everything else I'm doing. Today is mostly butt blocks and um, abandoning the final um, through hulls and hopefully installing the new through hulls. Uh, I was just off to the hardware store to get a hole saw, but they've parked a travel lift in the driveway and it's going to be there for hours. Anyway, so let's uh, let's just carry on with the, with the good stuff. Okay, it's time to start making butt blocks. I've made a couple already, but didn't show you much about them. These are gonna be some rather elegant little ones that have to go between the frames with some extra support. Anyway, let's, um, let's uh, well, let's make it up as we go along, as always. Ripping guides, table saw, and you can hold in your hand. These are gonna require some pretty serious carving, so we'll take the planer with us. Oh, and, and you too, let's go. Okay, so our first tough little butt block is in here. You can see it is right there behind these Morse cables. Uh, oddly enough, it's way off center. So in, in a way, it's sort of convenient, but I'm going to clamp across uh, after I get blocks in support on each side and then put a big clamp across the whole thing. Should work out just fine. Okay, a big back chamfer, a little front chamfer to make it pretty, and I think I can drive this up in there. Let's see. I can't. I don't know how we'll get it out. There we go. Perfect. And now this side. There we go. And because the actual uh, butt joint is right there, I'm going to put another block on this side too so I can put some through bolts here and through bolts here because it really in, it's too close to the end grain here. I'll put a couple of screws perhaps, but the main structure is here and here. Okay, this is certainly gonna seem like overkill, but uh, I like it. I'm gonna put a notch in there and a notch in there. Perfect use for my little pull saw. Here we go, it's a Chinese puzzle piece. And another little puzzle piece for the top that sits in there very nicely and can be through bolted in these two locations. Now that may be kind of a funny version of overkill, but I'm content with it. Okay, so now that's all secure and I can run through bolts through here and here and here and here, as well as screws from the back side. This next one is significantly sim uh, simpler. Uh, basically, I'll do the same trick. I'll put two uh, filler blocks in on the sides, and then a, I have enough meat that I can slide the uh, cross piece in here, and uh, that'll hold it all together very, very successfully. That just drops right in there nicely. Let's put one on the other side. Big bevel at the bottom, big bevel in against existing frame for ventilation, and a couple of nice little champers to make it pretty. Ugh. Oh no, it doesn't. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Made up a couple of wedges to take into account the uh, curvature of the planks here. And uh, now I just have to make a cross piece, which will also have to have a notch out of it to fit under there. The support block. I've whittled and whittled and whittled it 
I think it'll go in now. And the wedges up from below. I know there's some debate about the direction these go in, but I'm feeling pretty, pretty good about it. Okay. All right then, folks. Steaming in the final frame. Nice. Nice, 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 nice. Well, it's late and it's dark and I'm not even sure you can see this, but today was abandon old and fit new through hulls. Well, I abandoned all the old ones and I got geared up to fit the new ones, but I didn't quite do it. So technically I'm half a day behind. However, I did quite a bit of refastening. And in fact, Scott has very kindly offered to do some of my caulking and, uh, so he started on that a little bit. So it might not be too bad. Plus, there's another little situation. I booked my launch. This was the 29th of June, but I can't do it because there's no water. In other words, the tide is too low and there's no available launch time. So I had to book my launch for the 30th of June. And as a result, we have an extra day, which I'm calling everything else. Now, that's not great news because I'm technically supposed to go cruising uh, and join the Classic Yacht Association cruise and they are now at least a week ahead of me. But I'll catch up and all things will be good. So, we get an extra day. We're only half a day behind schedule or maybe on time. Things are going good. I'm feeling good. Are you feeling good? Well, hello there and welcome to the Travels Jordy Beer of the Week. And isn't it great? At least once a week we can get together and have this little chat. Uh, for those of you who didn't just click off the episode. Anyway, let's jump straight into the beer. And this was a gift um, from Dominic who came by with it. This is Modette from Quebec. And uh, I don't have my glasses on, so I can't read anything else that was on here. But I did make note of the uh, image on the back of the glass that is suggested to drink it in. And well, because of Lloyd's uh, gift of many glasses, I have something suitable. Now, incidentally, this is my second Modette this week uh, because um, that gentleman who came by with the cooler of beer the other day um, also included a Modette. I love that it's a wire cage cork. It's just, ah, oh, so classy. Okay, I just love this beer, actually. I know it relatively well. I've had quite a few, and it's perfect for this. Is it a celebratory day? I feel celebratory. I had a great day. Lots of little things got done, and although... I'm still technically a day behind. There are so many other little things getting done that um, those days will seem like a cakewalk eventually. Well, I didn't pour that too badly. It looks sort of like the pitcher on the uh, bottle. Anyway, cheers. Delicious. Okay, let's jump right in because there's a lot to get to. Last week's uh, winner of Travels Doherty t-shirt is <laughs> M093510. So, um, M093510, get a hold of me and we'll make sure you get your Travel Majority t-shirt. And I have to say and apologize, I'm a little bit behind, in fact, I'm more than a little bit behind in awarding uh, t-shirts to winners. Uh, I just haven't had a chance to sort out the coupon system, um, but I'll get, I'll get on that uh, quickly this weekend. Um, what a whack of patrons and PayPal, what an unbelievable uh, week of support this has been. I'm I'm so very very grateful. Uh, so from Patreon, new patrons uh, came aboard: Andrew um, Flynn, Julio Lopez Zanetta, Jason Belt, Henry Medlock, uh, Rene Savoy, and Paul Bridgers. Thank you all so very much, and cheers to you all. That's very kind. And further to that, very generous support uh, through PayPal. And uh, they are Kenneth Bunting, John McMonagall, Michael Pomponi, 
uh, Daniel Lasky, Joseph McDonald, George Oswald Murray, Dalziel, and Kelly Johnson. Thank you all so very, very much. Now, I should say almost all of these have uh, supported the show uh, by means of helping with a day's payment here in the yard, uh, which of course is already incredibly kind. But I have to give a special, special shout out to Daniel and Kelly who went above and beyond. And uh, all I can say is um, between this list of, 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 of kind supporters, the entire haul out is paid for. Uh, thank you all so very, very much. Cheers. All we need now is a word of the week. And if you haven't already guessed, the word is support. I am so grateful for the support that you all have shown me through this, uh, both of course um, through, through the, the, you know, this financial support, but as well just the comments. I mean, I'm realizing that I'm not replying to any comments right now, uh, but there's so many kind words of encouragement and support in terms of um, technical expertise and ideas and it just feels fantastic and it gives me so much uh, energy and enthusiasm to get up every day and have another day at this. So thank you all so very much for the support. See you tomorrow.